feel like I'm in class over here. I hope you're prepared then. All right. Well, uh, the mic's on, Devion, so we're going. Trey Biddy, you want to get us started? Sure. Yeah, Devion, how's it been working on special teams with Coach Fountain? What's what's kind of been different with uh, with all that? Uh, the thing about Coach Fountain, he wants your all on every rep, every play. He wants you to be able to play multiple special teams, most, multiple positions in that special team. So he wants you to give 110% in those special teams. But the key is what he has gotten us to do is we we'll go through a period, a very tough period, and then we go to special teams because when it comes to a game, the transition of going from offense or defense to special teams is a big key. Most people are tired. So in practice, we try to make it as game-like as possible. So special teams have been, been, kind of, been kind of tough, which is a good thing. Hey. Uh, Devin, aside from kick return, what other special teams are, are uh, you involved with? I'm on punt, punt return, and kickoff coverage. Everyone besides field goal block. Scotty. Hey, Dave Young. Camp is gone just in general, and you feel like you've made some strides from a from a pass catching standpoint. Of of course, of course. This fall camp has been really big. Honestly, being my last year, I have been able to take the time and really focus on my craft and study, study the playbook and be able to be a leader in that room, knowing I'm the oldest guy in there. So being able to step up and lead guys that may have had more playing time to me, but may better players than me, being able to step up and lead them and make it fun again, really, because that's the key to this, making this fun. Everything's different. We're not being able to do the same stuff we used to, like we're on Zoom call here. So making it fun has really been the best thing for me to do right now. Much. Yeah, Davion, uh, your name and, and TJ Hammonds keep popping up, you know, aside from uh, Mike Woods and Knox and Burke. So what have y'all done? What have you thought about uh, TJ uh, working there in the slot with you? It's, it's been, a, been a great competition, meaning that it has strived both of us to get better and learn on a little stuff we need to work on. One day he might have a great day where he's working on his technique and I'm actually helping him, and I might have a bad day, he's helping me. So it's just being able to feed off each other and continue to grow because that's what you need in that room. Guys who can play, come in and give you a break and not lose a step. Um. Yeah, that, that, that light coming down on Scotty makes him look pretty cool, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> just thought of that, just thought of that. Um, hey, have, have you been watching the games the, the last couple weeks? And uh, what have you thought? I guess having a chance to sort of be a fan and how anxious does that make you want to play here now that it's getting so close? Well, watching the games has made me want to play. It's, it's kind of weird because you're just so used to being in that mindset, of, oh, I got to prepare for this game. But being able to watch some of the games, you you watch from a different sp standpoint. You watch it as like you're a coach almost as a player, like, oh, he should have did this, he should have did that. Also, you watch and learn and see what other teams and other players do at your position. So it's actually been kind of good, kind of helpful to see what other teams are doing. It's been actually pretty fun. Alyssa. Yeah, hey, Davion, wanted to know how the chemistry and timing have kind of worked with you and Felipe and, and KJ, and then what have you seen improvement-wise from KJ, and then what's it like catching balls from a guy like Felipe Franks? Um, uh, the improvement that KJ, have had, KJ has made is incredible, man. It's, it's more of a confidence standpoint. Now, he's able to take control of the offense and take control of the group he's working with. It's been great. A guy like Felipe, Felipe's been doing this for a couple of years, so coming in and taking – Taking pass from him is is a big thing. It's, it feels pretty good, but it's not even that. It's the fact that he allows us to make plays after the catch. He gets us in the right spot, not as a receiver group, but as an offensive unit together. Like he makes sure we're in the right alignment, right calls are being made. So it's it's pretty good to have to like have a coach at quarterback on the field. Tom. Hey, Devion, I'm wondering what you think about the uh, ten game schedule, the way it's been modified, and also. Uh, what message might you have for fans who want to, who just want to see improvements this year? Want to see you guys going in the right direction? You know, see the ten game, ten game schedule. We saw it was like yes, yes, yes. You want to know why I would say yes? Because that gives you opportunity to play some of the best teams in in the country that most people don't get opportunity. That's the opportunity of as a kid that you 
wish you could have. And I feel like that's a great opportunity to, for us to go and show what the Arkansas team is made of. We have been through ups and downs for the last couple of years, but this year is we're here to make a statement. No matter who we play, no matter where we're going, it's that we're going to give it our all. And the things are safe for the fans. Improvements are coming. Coach Pitt and his staff is are, are wonderful. They have put us in the right direction since they got here. It's just major improvement. It's more of a trust, being able to trust Coach Pitt, know he's going to take care of us, and his staff is going to put us in the right position to, to do better and be better for ourselves. Nikki. Hey, Davion, how do you guys feel about the, the current tempo you guys are running the offense at? Is it where Coach Biles would like it to be? And just, like, do you feel like everyone's kind of on the same page? Last season there were a few, like, calls because guys were, I don't know, like, not fully in tune with what was going on in a, in a specific play. So how do you feel like you guys are fitting with the offense? We're fitting good. The one thing about Coach Biles is if – Certain people, certain people don't understand what's going on. We, he slows it down and makes sure we understand what we going, what we have to do and what is our assignment. But the tempo has it's been really good. We are learning to get better and get in better shape and move the ball faster, move out of field. We're not where he wants us to be, but we're taking the right steps in that every day. All right, let me know if you've got more questions in the chat, Bob. David, I don't know how much attention you, you pay to Rakeem's receiving, but uh... – uh, Coach Pittman's touchdown pass, and that, that's that been a point of emphasis uh, for Akeem this year, has become more of a receiving threat. What, what, what have you seen from him in that aspect? Rakeem has done a lot better. Rakeem has done really wonderful in, in fall camp. He's been able to catch the ball at the backfield, which is a big extension of the run game also. Being able to get him a swing pass and us blocking for him is, is a good way to switch up the tempo. All right, last one, Tom. Devion, I don't know how much uh, Georgia tape you guys have already watched, but their stats from defense last year were just really, really good. That they've got a good defense. What What do you make of those guys? Like oh, you said, great team, great well coached team, great defense. It's just we have to be on our best game, man. We have to be able to study and know what they're going to do. They are coached by a great staff, but we are also coached by a great staff. So it's going to be a great game from us and them. We just have to be able to go out there and compete and give it all. Thanks, Debbie. Yeah, I have a one for that.